advocates and clients and supporters of hemp engineering. Uh, today, we have the great pleasure to have with us Mr. Karan Sanar. He is the CEO of Awega Green Technologies in India. And, and it is a very great pleasure having you with us, my brother. Thank you, Ramon. It's a pleasure. And it's a great opportunity that you have provided us for uh, promoting us as well as working along with us as an associate company uh, with the hemp engineering that we have here in Australia. That, uh, yeah, certainly it's a great opportunity for us. Yeah, we are, India is one of the first companies to uh, develop products uh, which are related to hemp, that is cannabis. Uh, related to engineering and industrial applications. Yeah, so that's how we do it. Wow, but uh, I'm telling you that having a great market such, a, such as India and all the, that I know your obstacles and challenges that you are facing, I've got to ask you, what, what, what triggers you to come to the hemp industry? How did you end yeah, up in so here? Yeah, so now basically we are, we had, um, I had personally started this back in 2012, uh, where I was uh, curious to know while watching a TV show, I saw a production of uh, the Kestrel car, automotive industry, which is made out of, it is world's first hemp uh, made and hemp powered car. So I was quite fascinated about this, what is hemp? So that's how I came across and started studying about it. And in the meantime, like it has been almost eight years where we have developed six products out of hemp, uh, which are a patent, most of them are patent in process. So most of the products you also already know that is we have developed hemp biodiesel and we have achieved zero carbon emission on V20. That's just 20% of hemp biodiesel added to conventional diesel gives you a zero carbon emission. Secondly, we have developed the hemp exhaust muffler, which uh, curbs down 60% of carbon emissions, absorbs in it, and it is also 100% eco-friendly. Third, we, uh, we have developed the hemp eco-ply. Uh, we have already shared photographs and uh, products. Recently, we developed the hemp door. Uh, we have shared it with Ramon itself. So, yeah, uh, we... Yeah, we are soon going to get into the hemp construction business where we have developed hemp eco ply with different sections. And uh, yeah, the hemp eco bag, which is a replacement for single use plastic bag. I do, under, I do also understand that you're working in plastic hemp structural members. Yeah, de definitely. Definitely. We, we are the, in process of developing the hemp plastic pellets and the hemp uh, plastic uh, cellulose-based uh, structures where we can replace plastic permanently with this hemp uh, plastic, what we call it. Which is an old dream that you and I have been chasing since definitely, a long time ago. Definitely, <laughs> the dear dream is soon gonna get, uh, like it will come to very soon. Uh, it's just a wait of another eight months where we'll complete our research and development and bring up an minimum viable product for the market for application. Well, I do understand and, and I would like to share to, with the audience that you have an engineering degree as well. Yeah, uh, I have completed my bachelor's in engineering in mechanical engineering and completed my MTech in design engineering. Which uh, is a great asset for the industry worldwide. Thank you. But um, uh, I, 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 I love your enthusiasm and I love your passion that your first answer was the third question. <laughs> 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 so you, we jump on it, but, but I'm very happy that you shared this right on. Um, tell us about your challenges with the prohibition itself in India. Okay. So currently the, the legalization process and uh, the government is quite uh, coordinative and they are quite excited about knowing about him, like especially knowing about the industrial and engineering aspects and application purpose, 
definitely india in india the legalization pro process as well as the amendment of the new resolutions and new rules for hemp has already been started so i i feel very glad to announce that soon we are going to enter into the industrial market where we are going to develop the products out here in india without any legal issues or legal bindings which is a great uh, once again a great asset for the industry because india by yes, itself indeed. is perhaps one of the largest economies on earth and the largest with the population <laughs> <laughs> that which is that has been us to the last problem. question kran um, yeah do you truly believe that this um plant um all these plants that we're talking dreams on the table could lead us to a self sustainable circular economy era where you can basically we don't need to cut more trees we don't need to do more mining we don't do because everything we can grow right that's perfectly like uh, it's perfect that this is a miraculous plant that's the reason in uh, us uh, george washington had acclaimed this plant as a billion dollar plant because we can manufacture more than 50000 uh, products out of it and it's a complete plant which can uh, help you all develop right from how uh, like basic need of human is uh, food water shelter all these three, uh, three aspects are been covered by hemp especially now the in addition we have got energy which is which has become a very vital part of our travel so yes. certainly we require energy and that also hemp has been uh, providing uh, with the use of fuel biofuel and biodiesel so certainly Wait. hemp has a great future here uh, on earth and it's just that we need to support the sustainability like let me give you an example uh, before when lemons were available we never valued it but now we value soda which is much more cheaper and the lemon has got lemon has got expensive so in today's world natural things are more expensive than the artificial ones just because we humans with, with greed we did not support the sustainability but with hemp it is possible to achieve and hence it is very much possible to curb down 500 uh, million tons of carbon emissions per year with the use of hemp products this is uh, your way uh, quite honestly you are uh, nailing the issue here because in terms of numbers uh, hemp itself can be the solution for third world countries in terms of you said it food shelter and, and clothing um and, uh, it's just great great is the problem there is enough resources to solve all problems on earth yeah the from past 8 years we have been developing and doing research on such projects where we got to know only by the use of biodiesel you can curb down 240 million tons of carbon emissions from the environment yes that mean if uh, if we consider australia so the emissions or whatever wild uh, wildfires that have recently happened even after the damage the uh, the nature could have the nature can recover really well within a span of 6 uh, months if we plant hemp in larger quantities yes 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 so yes. that's that's where nature plays its important role and uh, according to our research we found out that it actually absorbs carbon emissions and converts it into oxygen which is fantastic for the environment is fantastic for local local uh, um, uh, governments and countries as a whole yes definitely yes yes uh, would you like to share something else with the audience uh, a, a message to the government a message to your colleagues to the to the australasian region that we all belong uh i would just like to share one simple um, message that value nature 
that is the thing that will help us in future for our uh, future generations to come and secondly government yeah definitely we all are working towards sustainability as well as uh, cutting down all the man made problems that we have created pollution is not something which was uh, created by nature it is the human greed, uh, greed that has uh, given birth to a monster called as pollution okay. let it be land water and air it is the human greed that has uh, that is we are facing so many issues like uh, diseases viruses and what not but once we start a sustainable lifestyle definitely it is much more easier to like control as well as understand nature where we nature is a giving part of this industry so it never takes anything so we should also remain uh, and uh, maintain this motto as well in our life thank you my brother it's, it's been a great pleasure having you with us your straight to the thank point you, and your it passion speaking with you it's, thank you thank you brother thank you very much <laughs>